Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing well and almost done with your Christmas preparations. Today is my fourth and the final recipe of my Christmas cookie series. If you want to check the previous three, I will link them down below in the description box and they are Linsa cookies, uh, what is it, coconut, meringue cookies and the walnut crescent and they are all delicious, so please check them down there. So today I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate coconut roll and the reason I chose this one as the last one is because it's a no-bake cookie. So we're going to be using lady fingers instead of a flour and there's no other raw ingredients such as eggs or anything like that. So this chocolate coconut roll is very easy to prepare, you don't need that much time like with the other cookies. And since this recipe is the last one I will be publishing before Christmas, I wanted to say happy holidays, Merry Christmas to you all. And I hope you have a joyful time and just get good rest and spend the time with uh, the people you love the most. Thank you so much for watching and I see you at the next one. So start this recipe by grinding 300 grams of the ladyfingers. And for that I'm going to be using my Ninja Blender that I'm also using for smoothies. It only takes a few seconds to crush them in there. And after you're done grinding, we can start preparing the first dough. For the dough, put the following ingredients in a bowl. 300 grams of ground ladyfingers, 100 grams of powder sugar. Don't use caster sugar because since we're not baking, it wouldn't melt. 30 grams of unsweetened cocoa powder. 125 milliliters of black coffee and two tablespoons of rum. Skip this step if you don't want any alcohol in there. You can now mix by hand or with your mixer using the dough extension and combine. It only takes a few minutes to combine the dough. Put a little bit of icing sugar on the surface. Get the dough out and just shape it into a ball. And now put it on a plate or wrap it in a plastic foil and put it in a fridge for at least half an hour. And whilst the dough is chilling, prepare the filling. So combine 100 grams of sugar with 100 grams of softened cubed butter and 100 grams of shredded coconut and combine. So put a little bit of the powder sugar on your surface. Take a rolling pin and also spread the sugar a little bit and start rolling out rectangular shape. Once you roughly have the rectangular shape, take a plastic foil and we're going to put the dough on top of it. And still keep rolling out. So the dough should be approximately 5 to 7 millimeters thick, which is approximately 0.2 inch. If it disconnects, just seal it back together with your fingers. And I would take a knife and push the dough in a little bit, like scrape it, just to ensure that rectangular shape. You can always cut a little bit and put it to some other place and just seal it with your fingers. The dough is very stretchy, so that means it's flexible. And once you're happy with the shape, we're gonna spread the coconut mixture on and just spread it equally across the dough. Just make sure you don't pierce the dough. And 
And once you have it spread everywhere equally, we're gonna roll it. So start pushing the dough down and take sliding it off the plastic foil. And make sure that you have a tight roll. You can just take the plastic wrap and roll it like this. Now I'm just gonna put it in the wrap the other way around. And this is how I'm gonna be storing it in the fridge. You can also keep it in an aluminium foil, but it's important that it stays sealed like this.